So for the hiking hack in Madagascar, we're going to be doing workshops with people out there and we're going to be completely cut off from a lot of technology. And so anything we're going to be designing with, we need to be able to bring out there ourselves. Um, this led to kind of problem that we had, which was when you're with a large community um, or, you know, a group of eight to ten people, it can be very helpful to have some big pieces of paper or something to design so that you can collaboratively make and share different ideas that you have. Um, and that's where we came up with this mobile, lightweight, durable, quick erase boards uh, for designing things in the wild and doing drawings, um, doing anything that you want in the wild um, with something that's really lightweight and also pretty durable. It doesn't just rub off uh, when you want it to go away, or when it doesn't rub off when you don't want it to go away, but you can very quickly erase parts. Uh, and what it is, is we got these uh, cutting boards. These are just really lightweight, cheap pieces of plastic um, that I was originally going to use as cutting boards because that's another thing that we need out in the jungle is work surfaces. Something that I can put electronics together and ants won't pick it up and walk away. Something to separate the ground from our actual work surface. So work surfaces are very valuable and while I had these work surfaces Hannah was talking about using these awesome chalk pens. Uh, these are the pens that you'll see people make really elaborate uh, art with on cafe signs, so regular chalkboards, but they work really good on this plastic too as just a drawing surface. So you can make a nice little smiley face, um, you can make your circuit diagram of your logic gate. I'm doing this left-handed, uh, which I'm not left-handed so it's going a little tricky. Um, but you can design whatever you want to design. You can draw a giraffe. If you see a giraffe, here's my left-handed while I'm filming. Okay, I guess it's more of a dinosaur kind of thing. Um, but anyway, they write really easily, nice vibrant colors. Um, you can take photographs of whatever your designs are, save them, and then when you're done with it, instead of having to carry around lots of pieces of paper. So in the previous hiking hack, I brought this really big notebook that people would do life drawings in, and they were great to share ideas and things that people saw in nature, and to just reflect on what you're seeing in nature. It's really good to have something to draw with, but it was really bulky, and because it was paper, it got really wet, we had to carry it around, it was just, it was a mess. Um, and so we're looking forward to being able to use this kind of thing. So you could draw a picture, I drew a picture, this is Kitty in a hot tub looking at the moon, there's Orion, some stars and stuff. So weird abstract pictures, and like I was saying, you can just erase stuff. Um, I just have a, a napkin with some water on it, and another napkin that's dry, and it erases really clean. Um, and especially if you're out in the jungle, uh, just wait till it rains and you'll have completely clean working surfaces. But these have also been inside my backpack, so you can see they're like a little bit scuffed up. Um, but they held their designs pretty well for uh, running around a couple miles across town with my backpack on. So it's mobile, very lightweight, uh, lightweight. <laughs> um, it's durable, uh, the stuff uh, is pretty good at not wiping off. Um, quick erase, uh, all you have to do, if we want to get rid of this, dump on a little bit of water, add a napkin, bum ba bum dump it off, and uh, you're good to go. Dry it off and you have a whole new surface to, to write on. So it's great. Um, and other than that, we're going to test it out and we'll let you know how this thing works. Maybe there's going to be other weird problems with it that we didn't understand. <laughs> but there you go. I also included some holes that I punched. I just took a hole puncher and so that we can hang up our designs uh, while we're out in the field and share them with each other, or compare, um, do whatever, different kinds of things like that. So I think it's going to be a very handy thing. So really it's just these cheap um, uh, chalk markers uh, that are super fun to use. You can draw on plants, they're non-toxic, it's pretty nice. Uh, these very cheap thin pieces of plastic, they're cutting boards, really light cutting boards, and you're good to go.